Hello YouTube makeup lovers. So I just posted my toiletries and makeup that I packed for my upcoming trip to Las Vegas and I thought it'd be a great idea if I also shared with you guys everything that I pack in my carry-on luggage, mainly my clothes, like my outfits, my shoes, and all the other stuff that I'm gonna be taking on this trip. So I really hope that you guys have a lot of fun watching this video and we better get started packing away. So unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to film for you guys before I left on my trip. So what I decided to do was to unpack everything and repack it all at the hotel once I got to Las Vegas. And it was actually even more convenient because I had so much space to share with you guys exactly what I took on this trip. And I also wanted to share with you guys some of my tips for carrying on your luggage. For this trip, I did not check anything in. All I did was take this suitcase that you see right here, which by the way is a Victorinox carry-on suitcase. It is a standard size and this is an amazing brand. I have had this carry-on for over 10 years. I've taken it everywhere with me. It is so sturdy and I just love it so much. So I took this carry-on and I also took a backpack and that is how I went to Las Vegas. One of the most important tips that I can give you is to roll up your clothes. Rolling up your clothes makes things fit so much better than if you fold them. Also for shoes, I like to put my shoes in little bags. It just keeps them nice and safe inside your carry-on and they do not get ruined or squished. So here I pretty much did that. I packed all my shoes, at least the ones that fit inside these little bags. These bags you can find on amazon.com. They're packing bags. They also have packing cubes. The other little packing bag that you saw me put in earlier that one has my underwear and my bras in it, and that just makes sure that all your clothes is nicely organized. Inside these sneaker wedges, those were kind of big to fit in any packing cube, so I just kind of threw them in there, and inside those sneakers, I pretty much put in my socks. That's another excellent tip for saving space, is to put your socks inside your shoes. As you can see, I also don't take very colorful clothes. This is because I find that neutrals and blacks and whites and beiges are easier to kind of mix and match, especially when you're limited for space. And the way I like to add some color is with accessories or even with your makeup because these things don't take up that much space. So I can take a nice pair of colorful earrings or a colorful necklace. And of course, a bright lipstick always adds a nice touch to your outfit. I am also packing my purse for the daytime inside the suitcase. This is very convenient because it's a bag that flattens out pretty easily and doesn't get ruined. It's also a crossbody bag, so it's very convenient to carry during the day. This is from the brand Toast. And in this suitcase, I'm also putting in my curling iron and my flat iron. My blow dryer did not fit in here, but what I did with that one was just put it inside my backpack. Also forgot to mention that this bag is excellent because it's also expandable so if you were to check it in you could also make it bigger. I took a second handbag for the evening. This is just a plain black purse that goes with all my nighttime outfits and this I fit into my backpack. Also instead of taking a pouch which is what I would normally do with my jewelry I use this purse as my little jewelry pouch so I stuck my jewelry all in here for the trip so that I would save up space in my backpack. So I laid out some of the stuff I brought on the bed so I can show you exactly the articles of clothing that I brought. In this little bag, this is an Eagle Creek bag and here I pretty much have my underwears and my bras. I have a green cardigan from Forever 21. I mean, you don't really need it here for the weather, but I brought it just because in case I get cold in the hotels, it is just like a basic cardi like this. Bathing suit because we're going to do a spa day one day. So I brought a bathing suit. I brought one pair of PJs. These are from Target. For my bottoms, I brought a pair of jean leggings, a pair of nice jeans. These are longer jeans. These are from Not Your Daughter's Jeans. And these are just really nice jeans um, for going out at night. And they're really long so that I can wear my heels with them. And then I bought a pair of Bermuda, black Bermuda shorts, just because it's really hot here in Las Vegas. Here are some of the tank tops that I brought because I always like to wear these really 
thin camisoles under my clothes. Some socks, I brought long socks because of my sneaker wedges that I brought and then some shorter socks in case I wear like my van sneakers. And I always love to travel with some slippers. This is like a little travel slipper case. For my shoes on this trip, I bought these sneaker wedges and these are from Steve Madden. And the reason I pretty much bought these is mainly for comfort because here you walk a lot through the hotels and we have the JLo concert, so we're gonna be dancing. And I just thought I wanted to have them just in case I didn't wanna wear my heels. Then I bought these nude um, kind of like cage sandals, also from Steve Madden. These are my Sam Edelman ginger sandals. And then I came on the flight with these vans. So I always have these in case I get, you know, tired of the other shoes. So I think it's a nice little selection for the trip. And for my clothes, I already have it all hung up in the hotel. I wanted to show it to you guys before I left, but I didn't get a chance. So I thought, well, this is even better because now it's all hung up. This is for the daytime. I brought a lot of neutral colors. So for the daytime, I got this little white shirt. This is very, very thin and the sleeves kind of roll up and they tie here with a button. Here is another sort of like a striped tee. Here's a little, just a plain black t-shirt. Very, very thin. It's like perfect for the day, especially for the weather here. Here's another very thin type of tee. It's kind of sheer, which is kind of why I bring those little tank tops that I just showed you guys. The front is sheer and the back is gray. Then I have this other little shirt, which again, very, very thin and it's very cute for it during the day. So these are like my daytime shirts and all these shirts I can either wear with the jeans that I actually have on right now, which I haven't showed you guys, but those are just like regular jeans. Those are the ones that I traveled with today and they're not long jeans, so I can wear them with my sneakers. So I can wear all these shirts either with those jeans even with my jean leggings or with the black Bermuda shorts. So that's kind of what I had in mind when I brought all these and items. For the nighttime, now that I hung everything up, every single thing is black. I love wearing black clothes, which is kind of the reason why I brought the nude sandals because that way I can add a little bit of, you know, just like a little touch of color. I brought this sheer top and this I like to wear with the jean leggings and I love the way they look with the nude sandals. Then I have this other, it's kind of like a shawl, but the back has that little design. And this I can also wear either with the jeans, the nice nighttime jeans, or I can wear it with the jeggings. Here's another shirt that I have. It's like this. It has this little thing here to tie at the neck. Then I also have this top right here. It's sleeveless. It has like this little lace design and it is a peplum shirt. And then I also have a little black sweater just in case. The front is just plain, but the back has lace. So this is just another option. Sometimes I'll even wear this little sweater over this top right here and the, just the outfit looks really cute. So these are pretty much my nighttime outfits. And again, these I can wear either with the jean leggings or with the nicer long jeans. And with those nicer long jeans, I would wear you know, either my sneaker wedges or the nude sandals. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will make sure to link the makeup and toiletries one in the description box down below in case you guys haven't checked it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Bye.